hey everybody welcome back to my channel today we are going to do a delicious tasty flavorful turkey meatloaf here i have blended seasonings that i am using everything will be in the description box here i'm just adding yellow peppers and some red onions normally i will put more vegetables in it but i have my two youngest grandbabies here and I know they'll be like, Grandma. So we're adding some mustard to this um, because I always like to have flavor in my meatloaf. We're adding some Bobby Ray's hot sauce, to, um, not hot sauce, barbecue sauce uh, to this. And then we're going to add some good old ketchup in there. Um, I would love when my grandmother will, uh, would make the meatloaf, and, but she would put the ketchup on the outside and spread it on there and I remember the next day eating a, a meatloaf sandwich with some bread and adding some more ketchup so if y'all remember doing that comment down below so we're just getting our meatloaf prepared with our seasonings we're going to use a little Worcestershire sauce in there and then we're going to get it mixed up but how's everybody uh doing today um i'm excited listen as i always say and this just not a statement i'm just glad that i woke up uh this morning with breath in my body uh just willing to do this video <laughs> in my right mind y'all so we're just going to Get this stirred up, getting it ready. And so we know in our meatloaves, some people crunch up crackers. Um, they crunch up breadcrumbs or bread and put in there. But I am going to add a little um, baking powder uh, in mine. And what this does is just help to um, hold it together. And it would help with the gravy. So this is what I'm doing, adding a little baking powder in here. And so I'm just going to form it together, spray the pan with some cooking spray. And here it is, putting it in the oven. And guys, um, I'm going to make some uh, asparagus with it. I added a little garlic to it. I added a little butter. Um, I sprayed my pan with some cooking spray and I added some cooking spray on top of it which was butter flavor so that's why i didn't put as much um butter on there so i'm just cooking dinner you know and i added some cezanne seasoning um on there i'm gonna add a little um lemon pepper on there listen it's about the flavor you don't want a lot of salt but you want flavor and that's just what I'm doing. So I'm just making a meal. And so here, guys, the meatloaf has halfway cooked. It's almost done. And I'm showing you that I'm going to pour some of the oil off of it. Here, the meatloaf is basically done. I always cut mine um, because I want to make sure that it's done all the way through. And the way that I do, I love... Um, mushroom gravy on my meatloaf and so what I do is I cut the slits in and then I pour the delicious gravy on top of it because I want it to seep through and then I put it back in the oven for probably no more than five minutes and listen you good to go so just look at this gravy. You may like a different gravy, but I love mushroom gravy on my meatloaf um, with some rice, y'all, or with some mashed potatoes. Now, y'all know, look at this. You can't tell that this is turkey meat, okay? It looks just like it's hamburger ground beef ground chuck. But look at the mushrooms on top of there that gravy on top of there and can you imagine the flavor that is in here so guys thank you for stopping by 
thank you for watching. Thank you for the love and the support. So here, guys, I played it, it putting the finishing touches on it. So it is time to eat. All right. Until next time, it is your girl, Pat the Encourager. I love you all. Be blessed.